San Luis Obispo has made great strides toward achieving our major city goals. We are actively working to ensure that our community fully recovers economically from the COVID-19 pandemic. We're working to make San Luis Obispo a more welcoming place for all and a more sustainable and resilient community into the future. We are designing our own future, deciding what our community will look like in the years and decades to come. However, we were not without our hardships over the past few years. Despite the challenges we have faced, we have endured and come together in times of crisis to emerge stronger, more resilient, and more connected as a community. I'm Rick Scott, Chief of Police of your San Luis Obispo Police Department. This year in 2021, our city, our community, and our police department were united. Fortunate crisis when we lost Detective Luca Benedetti. This tragic loss only reminds us of the very real dangers that our men and women in law enforcement face each and every day as they go out onto the street to keep our community safe. I wanna thank you for honoring Luca and the whole Benedetti family as you honor his memory in this way, as well as continue to share his rich legacy of service to our community for generations to come. Our community also came together as we navigated our way through the COVID-19 pandemic. Early on, one thing became clear, we are not gonna give up on our local businesses. Our community made economic recovery a priority. We rolled out new programs and initiatives to support businesses throughout the city. We provided direct aid to more than 200 small businesses to help keep them afloat, created new incentive programs for local shopping, and activated our downtown with safe and fun options for people to come together. Because of the efforts of the whole community, we've kept our economy going and welcomed many new businesses with more on the way. And we didn't stop there. Thanks to the voter approved Measure G revenues, your community services departments are focused on managing and delivering the planning, design, construction, and maintenance of critical infrastructure projects, over $66 million this year. We are doing this by improving our processes and coordinating with each other and the community. As a result, you see vibrant public art, new bike lanes and facilities, the maintenance of parks and open spaces, and so many new projects that build our community. We're also building bridges, both literally and figuratively. The city improved a major connection to downtown San Luis Obispo in January 2021 in our ongoing efforts towards downtown vitality. We rebuilt the 100-year-old Marsh Street Bridge while preserving historical features and adding public art. We enhanced the bridge's safety and protected the surrounding environment while also installing energy-efficient lighting fixtures. In 2022, the city achieved a major milestone on the railroad safety trail, where we built a bridge across the railroad tracks and Highway 101. This facility helps bridge a gap between Cal Poly and downtown San Luis Obispo, as well as many important points in between, make it easier to bike and walk every day for transportation. Facilities like this and protected intersections, protected bike lanes, and pedestrian hybrid beacons make it easier for more folks to bike and walk more often and do it safely. It also helps us achieve major city goals of sustainable transportation, climate action, and equity. We've also been building bridges to assist our community members who are either vulnerable to or currently experiencing homelessness. We've increased the funding for our safe parking program, which gives people a safe place to rest while they take those first vital steps towards stability. Additionally, we've taken on a leadership role in developing a regional and city level strategic plan to address homelessness. We are designing our own future with a clear plan for population and housing growth. Housing production has been a long-term priority, but so has smart growth. San Luis Obispo's population remains steady at about 47,000 residents, and we're ready to support sustainable growth in the future. New housing being built in the city is all electric, and every home has solar panels. Most importantly, the city maintains a compact urban form, keeping development off of our hillsides and preventing sprawl through open space and agricultural preservation all along our borders. The city is also building a clean and sustainable water supply for the future. 
We're working on the largest infrastructure improvement project in the city's history at the San Luis Obispo Water Resource Recovery Facility. The upgrade will improve the plant's efficiency while helping reduce our dependency on reservoir and groundwater supplies long into the future. It will deliver significant long-term benefits to water quality, the environment, and water resilience. In 2021, the city also finalized and began putting into practice a 20-year plan for public parks, facilities, and recreation services in San Luis Obispo. The goal is to upgrade the current facilities and provide our community with new sustainable facilities, programs, and services. We're designing spaces and programs to create equitable access for all San Luis Obispo residents. And we're focused on bringing more park amenities and recreational programs that help build a strong sense of community. And what are parks without trees? The city of San Luis Obispo is committed to expanding our urban forest for future generations. We're not only maintaining the 20,000 trees within the city limits, we're planting 10,000 new ones by 2035. To help us get there, San Luis Obispo's Tourism Business Improvement District created its Keys for Trees program, dedicating 1% of our annual TBID revenue to planting trees throughout our community. This groundbreaking program is combining tourism with sustainability in ways that we have never seen before. We're also designing a future surrounded by wide open spaces that will stay that way forever. Last year, we opened the long-awaited Miosi open space and our amazing Slow Ranger service are building trails and bridges to make the space accessible to all. We will continue to purchase more open space for community members to literally rise above it all and appreciate all that Mother Nature has to offer. The city is changing the way we approach housing by ensuring that a percentage of all new homes built here are affordable to low and moderate income households. For over 20 years, the city has supported development of affordable housing in private development and in partnership with local nonprofits and the Housing Authority of San Luis Obispo. In 2022, we'll be doubling our efforts by increasing our CAT team with an additional social worker as well as a police officer to continue to provide a wide array of services out into the community. These resources will help even more people in need of services and also keep our parks and our public spaces clean and free for all to enjoy within our community. We're also taking steps towards changing how we manage mental health crisis in our community. We're creating a mobile crisis unit to help members of our community who are experiencing mental health challenges. This program will pair a crisis worker with an emergency medical technician to provide non-emergency response and care to unhoused community members and others in need. Our hope is that this program will be adopted by other agencies and scaled up to meet the regional need. As we take these steps towards change, the Human Resources team is here to help through an inclusive process to recruit dedicated employees to provide services to our community. In the last year, the HR team has hired or promoted 164 employees into regular positions. That's 35% of our regular positions. And we're working hard to ensure we develop and retain employees to provide high quality services into the future. The city is also leading by example with an aggressive goal of carbon neutral municipal operations by 2030. To achieve net zero annual greenhouse gas emissions from city operations, we are electrifying city vehicles and buses and introducing e-bikes into our fleet. We've installed battery storage at our water treatment facility and are investing in renewable energy and energy efficiency retrofits across our city facilities. Woven within all of these efforts are the steps we're taking toward making San Luis Obispo a more welcoming place to all. The city continues to develop programs and policies to support diversity, ensure equity, and practice inclusion. In fact, this fiscal year, the city invested more than $1.1 million into this effort through grant programs to local organizations to lift up marginalized communities and create more opportunities for community conversations. And there's still more to do. Fortunately, the city's investments over the past few years are paying off, and we're in a strong financial position to support the services and infrastructure our community wants while also proactively reducing our pension liability, resulting in the highest 
funding rate in the last 20 years. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and continue the work to make sure St. Elizabeth's both thrives and remains a place we all love.